when you're being abused by your husband and the bishop asks if you are taking care of his needs. I am glad I am at a point in my healing where I can feel shocked and disgusted by this. Because this is normal. This advice, uh, taking care of your husband's needs so that he will be nicer to you, this is standard advice in LDS circles. As if they are a hose that needs to be drained regularly so they don't explode. Not, you know, human beings with self-control and self-awareness who maybe have a whole variety of feelings that contribute to them behaving certain ways. Talk about making a man a one-dimensional creature. And it's such an insult to simplify them in that way. And even if they are just the one thing, how traumatic to tell a woman who is being abused that she is responsible for it and that she needs to prostitute herself out in order to not be mistreated. I mean, talk about a contractual relationship. I give you this, you give me that. And if no one's told you, that's not a healthy thing. Relationships are not lists of you did this and I did this, and so we can be happy with each other. But given how prevalent this kind of advice is in the church, it makes me think that the majority of LDS relationships do work that way, that they are contractual. And that is just a really, really sad thing. And another piece for us Exmos to deconstruct.